Hi there, and welcome to Thunkable, the drag and drop app building platform. Today, we're going to explore using app variables in our app by building a clicker app. Let's start by adding a label to our app to keep track of our count. I'll set the text of this label to zero. And now we'll add two buttons to the app, one to count up and one to count down. I'll set the text of our button which counts up to a plus symbol and to name it plus. And I'll set the name of our button that counts down to minus and set its text to a minus symbol. Now let's take a look at our variable blocks. Let's start by initializing an app variable. As you can see, there are multiple kinds of variables which we will explore, but for now we will initialize an app variable and name it count. We will initialize the value of count to zero using a number block from the math drawer of blocks. As you can see, once we have initialized a variable, we now have a new block in the variables drawer. This allows us to take an action every time our named variable is initialized or changes. Let us say that when our variable count initializes or changes, we will set our label's text to the value of this variable. Now let's program our buttons. Let's say that when we click on the plus button, we will change the value of our app variable count by one. When we click on the minus button, we will change the value of app variable count by minus one. Let's test these blocks out. We'll click on web preview to test our app on the web. And if we click plus, the value increases. And if we click minus, the value decreases. Let's add a reset button to our app. We'll go back to editing and drag in a new button. We can name this button reset and set its text to say reset. And in our blocks, we will say that when we click the reset button, we will use this set block from the variables drawer to set the value of count back to zero. Let's test this updated version of our app. We can click on plus to increase our count and we can click on minus to decrease our count. When we click on reset, count is set back to zero. So now we have built a clicker app and explored using app variables in our Thunkable project. You can find a link to this project in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for thunking.